In this video, I'm going to show you a little bit about how Excel is organized, where to find what to do when you're using Excel. Excel uses file management systems very similar to Microsoft Word. So if you know how to manage files in Microsoft Word, you won't have any problem doing so in Excel. I'm going to open this file, so I'm just going to click on it. You can, of course, also open files up from within Excel by clicking on File and Open. And here's my basic data. Excel is organized with what are called worksheets. Initially, a Microsoft Excel workbook has three sheets in it. And each sheet can be used to, be, to keep a set of information in. So here you can see I have one worksheet all set up. And then the other sheets here are blank. You can add additional information to the other sheets. You can change their name simply by double clicking them. And you can also add more sheets by clicking on this little button here. To gather all of the worksheets that are in a Microsoft Workbook comprise the workbook. And these are all kept together. What this allows you to do is it allows you to keep a lot of different kinds of information together in a single workbook. It's all in one file. You can email the file to someone else. and you can have the convenience of having everything in one place. Each worksheet itself is broken up into rows and columns. Here you can see the rows are numbered. They're always numbered starting with one. And here are the columns starting with A. And once it gets past Z, it goes to, to A, 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 B, A, C, and so on. Every cell that's an individual box has a unique row and column indicator. So for example, the very first cell in the upper left hand corner is labeled cell A1. This cell over here would be labeled cell E11. You have a near infinite number of columns and rows. You would need a lot of data in order to exhaust the number of rows and cells that you have available to you in Excel. Let's go to our second sheet for a moment. Here you can see an initial worksheet. I'm going to blow it up a little. And again, this we're in cell C6. There are three types of data that you can put into cells. One, set, one piece of data is called a value. A value is any number. So for example, if I want to put 100 here, that's going to be a value. As a side point, a value can also be a date. Excel ex assigns every date a number and stores the value of that date as a number. Simply by typing a number into a cell, we'll establish that that is a value. You can also put text into cells. The way you indicate a te text is simply by typing anything that has a letter in it. So for example, if I write the name Phil, Excel knows that that is text. Also, if I write a value, if I write text that has a number and alpha, alphabetical in it, such as 23 sunny, that will also be recorded as text and not as a value. The contents of the cell are purely numerical, then it will be recorded as a value. If there's any alphabetics in there, then it will be recorded as a text. The third kind of cell you can have is what's called a formula. A formula is either a reference to a value or a text, or it's also some kind of manipulation of a value. Formulas always begin with equals, and they often use functions to manipulate data and numbers. When you're moving around Excel, there's a number of things that you can do. If you use a mouse, you can simply point to the mouse to whatever cell you want to go to and click, and that will take you to that cell. Another alternative is to use arrows on your keyboard. A down arrow, your selected cell down, an up arrow moves it up. You can also page down or page up. Page down, page up. If you use a tablet, 
or a keyboard, then you can also use in a touch screen your, your finger to select a sail, or you can use on some devices a stylus. Additional things that you can do is you can drag in order to select more than one cell. For example, if I want to select 10 cells here, I can simply click and then drag the mouse to cover 10 cells or whichever cells that I want to select. If you want to select an entire column, simply click on the header of the column right here and that will select the whole column. To select a row, click on the leftmost column indicating the number of the row. And what you can even do is you can select more than one row by clicking on a row and then dragging your mouse over all of the rows that you wish to select. To go to another worksheet, simply click on the name of the worksheet. To zoom larger and smaller, go to the corner here and zoom in or zoom out. Microsoft Excel menus consist of a series of ribbons. The file menu is a more traditional menu. However, the home, insert, page layout, and the other ribbons each have a set of functions to do. The home is the most commonly used ribbon because you can select your fonts, numerical formats, and other more important features of Excel. But there are also ribbons to insert different features, to design your page layout, to select different kinds of formulas, to manipulate data, to review your data, and to shift around your view. As you can see here, I also have an add-in to print out my worksheets using Adobe Acrobat. This is how Excel works and it organizes data and features so that you can manipulate the data and store it so that you can use it. If you enjoy this video, please click like, leave a comment, and move on to the next video in this introduction to Excel. Thank you.